Hello to you, welcome to the um, Phoenix Avery 20 with a Alpine something 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 today flying the ILS from Wizier 6 at Naples um, coming in over the city and on a 3.5 degree glide path due to terrain you can see here we've got a bit of a hill here and basically going to have to be avoiding that on the final so it's a steeper glide path much much like the um, one at San Diego actually um, in terms of weather, we've got light winds of 6 knots, um, variable between a few degrees there. A few clouds at 7,000, which we can barely see, that's those there. And then 27 degrees, QNH 1014, so I'm going to set 1014. 27. 27. And let's do 0406, so we've got the actual proper wind in there. Minimums wise, we're going to go over to the charts. We're using our less approach from we. 06 here, so that's going to be 680 feet barometric. All right, we're on a um, VNAV descent now, so it's continuous descent at the moment, um, making a very nice kind of sweeping, curvy approach in there. Um, would have potentially been better, so we've just made it straight in, but this works too. Inbound. We've got Napoli VOR tuned there on the left, 17.6 DME, which is actually our RLS frequency. Um, just descending down on the glide path right now. I'm going to set 3000 there, we're going to have a look and we're going to see some photogrammetry. Hopefully this will actually look any, a little bit decent at least. Highly doubt it though. So coming in 17 DME and I've got localizer armed. And the QNH local is 1014. Actually, going to arm the second autopilot for pilot already, so there we go. So the glide path's just come up there, so we'll just stay on the profile, which keeps us slightly below the glide path, which is actually perfect. Uh, as expected, We've got a 30 degree intercept heading right now, 40 degrees almost. Um, oh, that's the plane just adjusting. localized let's arm approach Let's see the runway light there flashing away Offset localizer, so it's an ILS with offset localizer. So you're gonna have to make it. Obviously, we've got this big mountain here which we can't really go around, so we're just gonna have to kind of make do without. Gonna set flaps too, get some ballooning there. Runway's in sight, let's report final. That bully traffic, uh, Alpine, ooh, what's my call sign? Alpine 56 Zulu Delta is on the long final runway 06. We got the speed coming down now. Got eight miles to go, gear comes down. Flaps free. That's gear coming down. Okay, 
Okay, it is an offset localizer indeed. This just looks a bit wrong because if that was correct, then we would be having a problem. So this is incorrect localizer information there because if I was on that glide path we'd be coming over that hill and you can see there's not re not required separation at all um, so we can't be flying that. So what we will do now is um, manual flight really. Traffic uh, Alpine five six Delta short final runway zero six. Alpine five six Delta short final runway zero six. scenery. It's saying we're too far to the left of the glide, to the right even, which is also incorrect. I'd say that's actually a VOR that was being set up there, so Hundred above. not quite correct. Minimum. Short final. Pitch is good, we're on Pappy, ignoring the RLS now. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. Let's power on a bit there. Relatively hard landing, but I needed the power on because uh, actually was a little bit. Um, what do we say? Late flaring, that for sure. <laughs> Should have been flaring that a lot earlier. before so that was interesting. Very curious what this 110.15 is. Let's have a look at the RLS. Localizer Yankee. Yeah it's still offset. So it stands 13, 15, 17 to 19 and 53, so let's have a look at the ground charts. That should take 53. Last on the right. 
Ale jest bardzo krótkie wyścieżka. Set. Engine two off. So yeah, interesting. I actually need to have a bit more of a look into that approach um, and see if there's a problem with the glide path actually, because uh, it doesn't seem quite accurate. Because the glide path information was telling me I was all wrong, um, even though the vertical, well, the RNAV information was correct. So we basically just flew that almost RNAV-y. 